this is Dana and welcome to the Orchid Hut. Today's video is going to be about my radiata orchid. I found it this morning with a situation that looks to me like it might be a bit of bad news. So we're going to sort of take this investigation together today and kind of walk through the decision-making process for what to do. Um, I've had this orchid about 10 months and it has put on some new growth this year even though when I purchased it the older pseudobulbs um, had the look of severe dehydration but it has put on a new growth here and it put on a new growth right here and there was another new growth that blasted off about three weeks ago and I removed that one. It didn't seem like it was any sort of problem that needed to be dealt with long term. But then about a week ago, one of the new growths started to turn brown and die. And right before I put this orchid in the garage for the colder weather, I removed that new growth right from this location right here and you can see that it's sort of brown and dry now. But the problem this morning when I was taking my orchids from in the garage back out to their place on the shelf um, at the orchid hut, I notice now that this pseudobulb right here where I'm taking the stake out is also turning brown right here. And not only is it brown, it is soft and mushy. And I don't believe that it was like that three or four days ago. So whatever is going on is causing um, even the older pseudobulb now to have an issue. Now, as I inspect this plant very carefully, I am not noticing any type of insect problem. So I don't think that's what's going on. This is probably either fungal or bacterial. Uh, worse than that, it's some type of virus that may not even be able to be treated. But I want to attempt to do something because this is clearly spreading and I really don't want to, to not do something to try to keep this from spreading. So you might be able to see the bottle of spray that I have in the background, and I've had good success with this in the past. It's neem oil, and it's for insects, but it's also a fungicide and a miticide for mites. I've had good success with it in the past, even when I wasn't quite sure what the problem on the orchid was. But before I use the neem oil, I typically do a spray with hydrogen peroxide for at least a day or two. And then I begin spraying with the neem oil following the directions on the bottle. I'm not crazy about using insecticides or, or chemicals, I guess, would be a better way of saying it, on my orchids and even outdoors in my backyard. Um, my backyard is, for the most part, a... Uh, kind of an organic environment. Uh, monarch butterflies live back there, hummingbirds, lizards, little tree frogs, and I don't like putting chemicals back there just for the sake of keeping everything happy. Uh, so when I do spray, I do it with caution and try not to overdo it ever. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do here. I think my strategy is going to be to try not to repot this entire orchid, first of all. It has, you know, a good new root growth from the, the sprout from this year, so I don't want to disturb that. I really would rather not have to repot this entire orchid. So I think what I'm going to do is carefully kind of dig down in the media right here, see if I can find a place to cut this at the rhizome and then put some peroxide on it and then in a couple of days begin putting some neem oil on it to see if I can arrest whatever is spreading right here. Okay, 
So let me turn this so that I can get at it a bit better. And I'm going to be just taking out some of this surrounding media so I can see what's what. I don't know um, if I do this this way, if I will even be able to see if I have a cut that gets rid of all of what this brown situation is, but I'm going to do my best to kind of dig down and see if I can get to a place where it can be cut. And unfortunately, this other pseudo bulb right here is growing very, very close to this one that's having an issue. Okay. I always um, try a lesser invasive tactic first. And then if I have to do something more drastic later, I will. Hmm. Look what a squirrel did. A squirrel buried a pecan in the media. That's what you get when you grow your orchids outside. Okay. All right, so Let's see if I can get in a little bit closer here. This this right here is the place where the new growth blasted off just a few days ago when I removed it. You can see it grew from this cane right here that's turning brown. And then if you go further down that stem, this next pseudobulb is the next closest thing to this pseudobulb that's not doing well. So. The first thing that I'm going to try to do is clip this pseudobulb right up against this other one. And then I will kind of inspect that cut edge. Now, off camera, I have already flamed my cutters, and you can be uh, certain that when I'm finished with this job, I'll be flaming them again. Okay, so let's look. So, the cut particularly doesn't look bad. I'm not seeing any kind of purple ring there that might suggest fusarium. So that's good news. Um, this bulb is really soft right there. But if I feel down into this section, it's a little bit soft right here. But as I go further down, this feels more dry and hard. So maybe I have cut off enough to arrest the spread of whatever this is. And you can see the, the cut part right here. I'm not sure if that camera angle can catch that or not down inside the pot. And I will be spraying that with peroxide and then I'm going to leave that area exposed because I want it to dry out really well and tomorrow I will begin spraying that area with the neem oil and I will be watching this cane right here to make sure that there's not uh, a situation where something is starting to turn brown. Okay, so that's my strategy for how to deal with this at the moment. I'll cross my fingers and keep a close eye. And if you learn something new in today's video, please hit that like button. Hit the notifications button so you know when I post something new and the subscribe button will be in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. Wish me luck on this orchid. Talk with you next time.